It's been a while since my last electric bicycle update. It's February now. I haven't been riding much except for back and forth to work. And as you can see, this bike is no longer an electric bicycle. The pedal fell off. I didn't feel like putting any more money into this old bike from the 90s. This is rusted in place. The seat's rusted in place. So I went ahead and got a different bike and moved my electric kit over. On this bike, I located the controller there. And this setup, wrapped in an old bicycle tube, keeps the water out of the electrical connectors very well. I have a kickstand, a double kickstand. It's a different model than the other one. I kind of like this one. This bike also came with fenders and a rear rack that I painted to match. A lithium battery and a regular automotive battery case. Group 24 battery box from the auto parts store. And rewired it with Anderson power pole connectors and I have wire conduit all the way throughout. This bike also has a front suspension. I went with traditional bicycle lights for this instead of the electric bicycle lights. Ultimately they're a bit higher quality than the things like this. This was just a disappointment. Waste of money. thing actually performs pretty well in the snow as long as it's only about an inch or two of snow. I took this thing home from work in eight inches of snow the other day. And uh, that wasn't a lot of fun. Not a lot of fun at all. The rear wheel drive is a lot more fun in the snow. volt 20 amp hour LifePo 4 battery. Get about 20 miles of range on this bike and a little bit more than that on my 500 watt mountain bike.